Okay, let's take a look at the name Merlin here. Um, everybody loves Merlin, famous magician. Now let's, uh, or, or famous wizard, I should say, not magician. But um, anyways, we're looking at the name here. So let's look at the simplest possible combination. It can go together very simply, like so. But this, word, this name actually has a lot of possibilities. It's, I wouldn't call it complex. It's just there's a whole lot of ways to put these letters together, actually. A bunch of double letter combinations to choose from. So let's start looking at them here. M-E, we don't really got much there. E-R, we got two main choices other than the standard. One is to put the R inside of the E, and one is to attach the R like so off of the edge. Then we've got RL. RL is very simple. We can add, the, add it there. Now, of course, because we've got the E options up here, we have the chance in this word to create what the script calls side chains. Side chains are, for example, let's try it with Merlin, like so. M-E-R-L-I-N. This is called a side chain. Why? It's kind of like in chemistry, where you're looking at a side chain. At this point here, really, on the E, we've got two chains now, which one do you read first, and how do you deal with this situation? Well, you start at the top, of course. Standard rules in Descript are top, bottom, left, right, outside to inside. So, M, E, we're at the E. Now, this one becomes for this one. Why? Because it's, it's top, and it's, well, it's right, and this is left. But this is top, more importantly. As you can see, it's clearly first in the sequence. So, you read this first, M, E, R, L, and then you proceed to the following side chain. I, N. And we've got the name Merlin. That's how side chains work. I tend to go long, shortest side chain to longest. So when I reach an intersection of, of two or more side chains, I start, start with the shortest and work my way towards the longest. Um, that's, I find the best way to do it. But you can, of course, play with it and find your own rules if you like. Or you can just write random side chains and, you know, design it however you like, and then just assume that you'll be able to figure it out later by trying all the possible ways to read it. I don't advise that method, though. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, RL, LI. Well, LI's got, we, we could put the I onto any of those points. When you're dealing with an L, you've always got all those options. And LI also has this option. We can connect the I directly up to the L bar like so and create this kind of cup shape. That doesn't look very nice. It looks better if it's drawn properly. But And then IN, um, as we've seen before, you can do that to create an IN. This is where the I cup connects to the previous word, letter. Okay. So let's try to create a couple neat versions of this name now. Um, first, let's draw that side chain version we were talking about before. M, E, R, L, I, N, Merlin. Okay. Um, now let's try. Let's just start. Let's put the E inside of the, the R inside of the E. Uh, we could put the L inside of the E as well. Uh, we could put the I up here and then connect the N like so. We could also put the N there if we like. We could also try putting the I inside of the E. Now, I's normally are completely empty. There's nothing in here except for the previous word. It's like a cup that catches something. And it's not intersected usually. There's a couple exceptions. And one is inside of the letter E. When you want to put an I inside of the letter E, you have to draw it like so. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. When you're dealing with the letter V, the letter V looks like this. So, if we've got two letter E's here, and we want to put letters inside of them, this is how I will put a Y inside of one, and this is how I will put a V. So, they're very clearly different, as you can see. Refer to the Descript manual for all the details on these. But, um, it's not going to be a problem. It's just, if you're not well-versed in Descript when you arrive at this, you might mistake that for a V. Anyway, so, let's try putting the whole word inside of the E. Sorry. M. E. R, L, I, N. Now, of course, as you saw, I drew the M, M first, then drew the circle, then drew the middle part. The truth is, when you get get better and better at specific words, at or at Descript in general, you can start to draw it into a fluid line. And this could actually be drawn almost in a single stroke. Almost. Not quite. M, R, L, I, N. See, I already lifted there. I shouldn't have lifted there. I should have come back to that at the very end like so. I had, that was one, one drawing without lifting the pen. Two, three. So three pen strokes, if you want to call it. Not really strokes, but um, it's, it's hard to call it like that. In, in Chinese, often, two pen strokes can be combined, and we call it this a stroke, even though it's, 
it's two lines and it's two bends. It's called a single stroke. I don't really like to call it a stroke because in English we like to use the word stroke for a single movement. But according to the Chinese definition of stroke, this would be a single stroke. It was done without lifting the pen a single time.